Hey everyone, I have Melissa Jones on here and she is going to be my guinea pig in a way. <laughs> Not like a guinea pig, guinea pig, but she's my guest for doing yeah. this self-limiting beliefs, MERs. This way people can see what it is that I do on a deeper level. And I'm so appreciative of you doing this for me. I really do appreciate it, Melissa, very, very Thank much. You. Oh, I appreciate it. This is going to be amazing. I know it is. I don't want to say like you're a guinea pig, but you know, I'm glad that you're having me do this for others to see. Yeah. I'm fine being a guinea pig. It's fine. You're a teacher, so. Yeah, I'm pretty much a living guinea pig, so. <laughs> okay, so when it comes, okay, so for your timeline, because we were talking about the self limiting beliefs that are holding you back, like they're not good enough. And a lot of us deal with that not good enough feeling. And when it comes to the self-limiting belief and decision of not feeling good enough, you've noticed that it affects your life in different areas. And would it be okay with your unconscious, your subconscious mind to release that not feeling good enough today? Yes. Okay, so what I'm gonna have you do is when you're thinking about your past, like even as simple as yesterday, is it behind you or in front of you or to the side? Um, I hope it's behind me. Look, if you close your eyes, maybe you can find where it is. I know sometimes that's what I have to do to find my timeline. The past I think it's, is, I think right? it's beside me. I think it's beside me. What side, the right or the left? The left. Okay. So you would be through time. So that helps to know. So. Okay. So when you're thinking about your self limiting decision of not feeling good enough, if you close your eyes, would you say that the root cause of all of this problem? The first event, which when disconnected will cause the problem to disappear. If you were to know the root cause of the not feeling good enough, was it before, during, or after your birth? After. Okay, so after your birth, what age were you? And what is the age that comes to mind? Eight or nine. Eight or nine, okay. So floating up above your timeline and over to the past, over to the age of eight and go directly above the event so you're looking down on the event and letting me know when you're there. Okay. Very good, okay. So ask your unconscious, your subconscious mind, what it needs to learn from this event, the learning of which will allow you, once you let it go, the emotions easily and effortlessly. Your subconscious mind can preserve the learnings so that if you need to, if you need to let them in the future, they'll be there. I feel yeah. like that my my mind, like the timeline is kind of moving. So I feel like I'm kind of going like eight, nine, ten, like those ages, like it's kind of it's kind of almost like swirling of like kind of them those moments are kind of kind of blurring together or and that's okay because everybody's timeline is different. So that's okay that your timeline is like that swirling together. So you want to float above that position where you are above the event and before the event where you first felt that not good enough and where you're looking forward now. 
So making sure that you are before the chain of events that led to that event and asking yourself, now where are the emotions? And are they gone now? What are the emotions before the event? Mm -hmm. And if they are gone. Do I say them or I'm just thinking? You can, you can thank them because this is recorded. Just to protect you for your privacy. You can just let me know by shaking your head. Yes. Or just telling me yes, if they're gone, those emotions are. I don't know how to let them go. <laughs> okay. I, I just tell them, I just, no. I just say they're gone. Like I just tell myself that they're. So are those emotions are still there then? Okay. So float up back up into your timeline, going back even further before that event, before the eight or nine. Okay. So do you see or hear or any of that for that not good enough where before, you are right now in that age that, mm -hmm. um no i don't i don't see i don't feel any of that at the age before that okay so take those take those feelings going down inside to that event to where you first started feeling not good enough Take those positive feelings with you to that not good enough. Now looking through your own eyes and check on those emotions. Are they still there or have they disappeared? When you bring that positive into that negative event. I, yeah. Okay. Um, you still have them? Okay. Um, they're fading. Okay, so go back up into your timeline again, and then go back again to before the feelings of not good enough started. Was there anything that you could learn or take with you at that time before the not good enough came up? that you could bring into going into that event when you first started feeling not good enough. Anything positive from that to bring in. Mm -hmm. So bring those into that event where you first started feeling not good enough. Okay. How are the feelings now, the emotions surrounding that event? <laughs> I. I then I just thought of a different event <laughs> and um, I'm thinking of one that I had forgotten about that popped up and um, that happened. And so now I'm bringing, I'm trying to bring the before that feeling to that event and, um, and and encourage her. The little girl. And it's okay. That's why I said this, this inner healing is, it's a lot of work, but it's worth it. And you know that because you work with Girl Scouts. <laughs> you know this because yeah. you're a teacher, you see it all the time. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what's going on in your, in your world right now, but I do want to let you know that this little girl that's inside of you, she made that decision and it wasn't one that you, you had a choice, but you didn't know. Do any of your kids that you work with at the school, do they know what they're doing at this age? They don't. So then why would you take that and put that onto yourself? You were a little girl, you're a beautiful little girl. I can imagine you as a beautiful little girl because you're a beautiful person right now and you really are. 
And I really want you to take that learnings and just love that little girl right now. Just love her where she is right now. And give her a big hug. Just even imagining giving her a big hug and letting her move forward. Because trust me, you're gonna feel so much better after you release that feeling. You know, watch everything blossom in your business. If that's what she wants for you. She wants you to succeed. And she knows you can do it. And I know you can do it. I know you can. I'm not saying that just to say it either. I know you can do it. Anyone who could be a teacher and teach little kids. <laughs> come on now. You've got to be a hero. <laughs> yeah. Take those with you. Now go into that event where you first didn't feel good enough. You can power through it. I know you can. Yeah. I know you can. Just work through it. I know you can do it. As you're working through that, just taking those deep breaths, just allowing those emotions just to freely pass. They're no different than unwelcome guests. Let them come and go as they please. It's allowing them to be free. Because in fact, the more you allow them to be free, the more you can choose to be yourself, that higher self that you know that you are. So you're allowing yourself to have that. Now go back into that timeline. Go up into the present day and now. Do you smell popcorn by chance where you are? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> okay, so have you go back into your timeline. I go back in there, go back to the age where you first felt not good enough. And how are those feelings now? Are they the same, better? I think they're better. Perfect. Awesome. So go to that time frame before that event. And how does that feel? Is so this as good as it did before? Mm-hmm. Okay. So now come back to the event for the timeline only as quickly as you can and letting go of that emotion of not feeling good enough on all the events from all the way back to now, to the current day. And assuming the position with each subsequent event Preserve the learnings that you needed at the time from not feeling good enough and letting go of that shame, letting go of that hurt from not feeling good enough all the way to the back to now. And floating down into, into the now and coming back into the room. Hey, Melissa, when did you, I like your picture behind you. That one that's right behind you. Thank you. That one's pretty. I like that. I also like the cow over there too. I'm like, I'm looking at the cow Thank in the shelf. It's cute. <laughs> Thank you. So can you remember a time, can you remember any event in the past where you used to feel that old emotion of not good enough? Anywhere in your body in that timeline? into the past can I remember it mm -hmm. or can, can you I feel it? it I can I can remember it but can you feel it and if you can't that's okay because you may not feel like you can remember that actual feeling that actual feeling of shame for not good enough I don't, I don't think. That's good. You, that means you let that feeling go. You allow that emotion to pass, that emotion of shame, not feeling good enough to pass. That's good. 
So then what I want you to do is go back into the future now. So now go back into your timeline. Going into your future. And in your future to an unspecified time, which if it had happened in the past, this exact same emotion, the same event, which would have felt inappropriate or unwarranted for this not feeling good enough. And notice if you can find that old emotion, or you may find that you cannot find that emotion. This is in the future. Awesome, so come back to the now. And that is the MER, the Mental and Emotional Release Therapy. That's awesome. I told you it was, I told you it was powerful. Yeah, it is. I didn't even think, I thought it was a different time than what came up. It's, it's crazy, that's why I said our, our mind, our body knows everything. That's why I wish more people would understand why I love this work is because we think consciously what we know, but our subconscious knows everything. That's why I'm like, my rejection, the last person that was, reject, was rejecting me was my husband. <laughs> That's where my fear of rejection come from. It's like, seriously? <laughs> yeah, but I am so glad it helped. I'm so glad this helped you. Because yeah. now, like I said, watch, your business is going to go farther now. I know it will. I know it will. Thank you. I'm going to stop recording for now, though. <laughs>